When I'm here on a case, I can add time to my case by going up here to actions and typing in staff, add staff time. From here, I'm taken to my case time slip. This will show me the case that I'm adding time for. The case worker who is going to default to me, who's entering the time and who the time is for, the date of the service, the funding code, and this funding code will default to the funding code of the case that I am on, although I can change it. So if I were a dedicated staff member who had to bill all of my time to one specific grant, regardless of the grant of the case, I would be able to change that here. This is also gonna give me the opportunity to set a activity code and that activity code is related to the activity type of case activity. So I can see here that I've got a couple of different options here. So I'm gonna just say that I interviewed the client. I can indicate that this is private attorney involvement time or PAI time. I can also indicate that this time was spent in court. These are just fields that people find helpful for their reporting. If you don't need them, you can always pull the, these fields as well as anything else off your um, off your time slip. I've got the start and end times where I can start time, stop time. So if you're like me and you took the LSAT because there was no math required, this will automatically calculate the amount of time. If on the other hand, you are a whiz at math, you can just enter the time that you, uh, that you need here. Activity details will give you a short space to put in any information about what you did. You can also create a case note directly from this timekeeping slip, and you can email that uh, case note to another party in legal server. I have an option to save or save and add more time for this case. I'm just gonna go right ahead and save. I've created my time slip, and now when I go to find under time and activities, when I wanna go see that list, I'll see here my time slip that I've already entered. If I wanna edit my time slip, I can just click on the ID, 81, and now I see my time slip profile. I can just click here to edit if maybe I've done something wrong or need to uh, add some additional information. 